Welcome to another video on Java Enterprise using uh, JBoss. So you can see from my JBoss environment here that I've created a lot of projects for assignments and different numbers. And a uh, practice that you'll probably find eventually is that you'll have errors if you try to copy and paste a project. For instance, let's say I like assignment 2-JSF. And I want to make a copy of that. So it would seem obvious if I just right click and choose copy and then go to edit and paste. And it's going to ask me what do you want for a new name? So I'm going to put the word new after it. So everything seems fine except there's, there's a problem. Let's go check out our server. So if I go down to server and let's choose uh, the add remove option. So right click on this server and choose add remove. And this will show the applications that are currently running. So I can take a look through my list. And let's look at this thing here, the one I just created. Notice it's got some kind of a strange name to it. It says you've got assignment 2-JSF-new. And then in parentheses it says assignment 2-JSF. So it's like not quite forgotten that it came from this uh, original project. So how do I fix that? So the application might run just fine. You'll be able to run it without error. However, it is actually compiling the uh, code to run in the uh, application space for your previous copied project. It's a bug in JBoss, and so here's how to fix it. First of all, you have to show hidden files. So I'm going to show you the directions in Windows. So I searched for how to show hidden files. Go to this first. Uh, if you're in Windows 10, 8, or 7, there's different directions, and you need to show hidden files. So there's your directions. Let me show you on the Mac, because it's a little different. On the Mac, what you need is the terminal. So to find the terminal, you go to the Applications folder under your uh, Finder, and we're looking for uh, Utilities. So you find the Utilities folder, and inside of there you will find Terminal. So there's Terminal. Okay, so once you got the Terminal, you need this command. Defaults. Write com.apple.finder, and then you type in capital Apple Show All Files, capital Yes. All right. Nobody said it was easy. You press Enter. So now I want to restart the Finder. So I hold my Option key on the keyboard, right-click, and choose Relaunch. You could also just close your Finder and open it. But if you relaunch the Finder after setting this uh, command, you'll be able to see things that you didn't before in your folders. So now I need to locate this uh, new project that I just copied. So I'm going to find some file that was in here, such as the login form. So I want to locate this on my hard drive. So if I right click on it, and let's see, it says open with or show in. Show in is what I'm looking for. I want to show it in the System Explorer. So this tells me where this file is located. So this tells me where this file is located. I'm going to right click on the uh, the name of the folder and move up. And here are the hidden files. So settings. Let's go open up settings. We need to have this file here called uh, .component. We need to open up that in a text editor. So I right click and open it with, oh unfortunately I don't have a text editor here so I'm going to choose other. What's your other app? So if you have an application installed such as um, well, let's see, what do I have? I have Atom, that's a text editor. I could open it in that. Uh, Eps, let's see, I got Eclipse. Eclipse would work. So you need some kind of a tool that is designed to edit code. So I'm going to choose Atom because it's already installed. You could probably use Eclipse. So you can see that this is an XML file. It's a, a configuration. Remember the uh, name of the file I created was uh, dash new and the original was just dash JSF. And so you can see that the, the deploy name is uh, left over from the previous example. So I'm just going to retype it as dash new. Is there anywhere else on here? It looks like this one needs to have its name changed to new. And it's going to be built also in this other folder. 
So a few of those changes, we close it and save it. Now we need to right click and close or quit on JBoss, restart, and it should be all fixed. Okay, so we're back into JBoss now. The problem should be fixed. So uh, the application hasn't changed any, but that one configuration file will show a correction now in our server. So if I click on Servers tab here, right click on the actual server name and choose Add Remove. When I look at the list of applications that can run on this server, you should see a correction now using the name that I just uh, copied and pasted. So here it is, the assignment2.jsf-new. It doesn't have anything in parentheses. So you can see I've got some other assignments here that have been copied from other projects. So I'll potentially have errors if I uh, run these applications. Um, sometimes I have errors, sometimes I don't.